Hello YouTube. Um, so we all know Lego can be uh, used to make a variety of things. So what you're looking at here is a Lego peristaltic pump. Um, the name peristaltic actually comes from the word peristalsis. It's the act of moving fluid by contracting and relaxing certain types of muscles. Uh, so a peristaltic pump essentially kind of do the same thing but with rollers instead of muscles. Um, it's used in the medical field for pumping blood. Let's say you're doing a dialysis and it keeps the blood clean and away from any of the moving parts. Let's say um, if you had a regular motor, you'd get some metal debris if it had to go through some of the metallic um, components. Its main factor in moving the fluid is uh, these things called rollers. Essentially what they do is they press on the tube and as they move, they're pushing fluid uh, through it. It actually can deliver a surprising amount of pressure. Uh, let me demonstrate. I don't want it exploding, but. This is one of my original designs for a pump. The little fingers in there turn around and as they do water is pushed out through this tube but the thing to note with this kind of pump is that the chamber's always got to be filled with fluid the inlet for the water is right through the center as the water gets in it gets spun around by the little fingers inside and um, that will make the water swirl um, and the only exit hole is, for, uh, is through this opening from the side and that's when the water will come out so i'm going to turn it on now you've got to dunk the unit inside the water and you've got a nice little pump um let's see if i close off the hole um yeah it doesn't really do a good job of holding the pressure kind of like it just moves the water more efficiently, but it doesn't give the water a lot of pressure behind it. But the flow is a lot smoother. I just swirls it around. So regardless of me having a tube that goes into the inlet, um, it's not going to be able to pick up water from a distance. See, I could take this tube and I could submerge it in the water. If I turn the pump on, I could spin it as fast as I want. It's just not going to be able to create a vacuum to pull the water through. So the peristaltic pumps filled with air. Let me demonstrate. This tube is empty and there's no water in it. But if I take the tube and I put it in a uh, tub of water you can see kind of how effective it is in pulling it through so this is the height of almost one meter look at that So peristaltic pumps are not only uh, sanitary, they can build up a lot of pressure and they are self-starting. Now, what kind of uh, practical uses do these types of uh, pumps have at home or just in everyday uh, life? On a little side note, if you wanted to be really creative you could put a receiver on the end of it you can control it with this little tiny receiver which i think is fantastic uh, but it is up to you on how to use it now on a vehicle if you want to service your power steering you quickly notice that there is no drain port for the reservoir um, so it's a lot harder to drain the fluid if you don't have some kind of pump 
uh, although the battery is dying in this demonstration it's a lot a lot more easier to use something like a peristaltic pump to drain the fluid if you want to do a complete flush um, and it, you can see it's working effectively uh, and it's all hands-free another good example is if you're doing a transmission flush so you've drained the fluid and now you've got to top it off unfortunately the drain bolt is actually at an angle so you can't put a regular funnel and just top it off on top of that it's actually in a quite inaccessible area it's actually behind the CV axle so you've got to get a skinny tube just to fill up your transmission you could do it manually with a hand pump or you could just do it with Legos and I think that's the better solution If you enjoyed the video or at least found it a little uh, informative or helpful uh, please drop a like and subscribe uh, I do always check the comments for your suggestions and I always appreciate your views thank you very much I'll see you in the next one